Hello, hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying this video. I've been having so much fun making all of these videos for you and any support you can give to help further make more and better videos for you all goes a long way and that is as simple as clicking that subscribe button, hitting that bell uh, icon to get notified when new videos come out. Also, if you really want to, you can head down into the description below of any of my videos. They have all the links to my social medias for the channel and even some of my personal stuff if you want to see what's going on in my life. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. It really helps the channel go a long way and I appreciate all of your support. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the show. Ooh, hey, it's the next day. What? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Uh-oh. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Okay. Perhaps a maintenance robot took care of it. You might have misheard. You were busy running away. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated uh -huh. systems. Sure, sure, sure. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Okay. Oh, a lucky break. What? It seems my access codes still work. Oh, that's good. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. We shouldn't disturb any evidence, just in case we need to go to the police after all. Just be careful, you made your point about the door, let's just go ahead in. Doesn't look like there was much of a struggle, uh, it does look like there was much of a struggle. Maybe a small amount, but still. Are you sure he was actually kidnapped Turing? I do not make a habit of entering people's homes in the middle of the night without permission for no reason. Fair enough. Breaking and entering is just not a sustainable hobby. I guess that's fair too. So yes, I am quite certain. Boop. I saw it happen myself. Uh-huh. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Uh-huh. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Well. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I totally remember that. Aren't you programmed against harming humans? <laughs> of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Uh... Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. So are you saying you could- I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Okay. Please don't! I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Oh, really? The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. Oh, okay. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. I guess. Glad we're clear on that one. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. Okay. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But he told you to run. But I... You were fine, kid. You know, you did the right thing by escaping. What's done is done. We need to focus on finding him. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. Honey. Ah, there we go. Broken tech. Look at broken tech. A ROM component and Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Busted. He must have dropped it in the skirmish. Okay. 
Brandon's computer. Clearly. I would hope so. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Okay. Do you know how to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no. I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length oh, of time. Oh, really? Why not? You hacked my door easily enough. Of course you can't. That would be too easy. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oy vey. If you'd like to try your hand at digital breaking and entering, be my guest. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Uh-huh. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Oh, that's fun. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software cool. if I attempt to slice in. Gotcha. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. So, is that why you need me? Can't you just download the knowledge from the mesh net? What does talent have to do with it? The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. Mm, I guess that's a fair While point. computers can only think in straight lines, Humans can think sideways and upside down. That's fair. I lack that ability. That's an interesting way of thinking about it. I've never thought about it that way. You know, kind of creative leap. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds... What? I just don't think I'm very good with computers. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Good on ya! Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, oh, but I'm sure. not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Mm, okay. Seemed like something a robot would be good at. <clears throat> That's true. Yeah. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. Okay. I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Interesting. Let's get back to searching. You have no idea how to log in. Stack of books. Oh, I think I see something under those Ooh. reference books. What do you got for us, kid? That device. What device? I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. Oh, is it a calendar? <laughs> it is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. Huh. It looks like there's a place here for a physical memory card. Ooh, okay, so we need a physical memory card. Without the memory card, this tablet is useless. Fine. When you're paying attention, don't bother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just plug right out of battery. Game consoles. A few vintage video games. Hayden was always a fan of old tech. A dural and even a flame, a family link. We gain the strength of of the temptation we resist. So you'll probably become a rad video game wizard now. Oh, that's awesome. Look at TV. The television is looping through some of Hayden's feeds, tech banter, Ted's code tips, augmented eye. Uh, window. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. That's, that's fair. 
I, I get that. This window here is where I escaped from. I can see that. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. Yeah, how did you do that? How did you get down? I took the fire escape. Oh. I guess that would make sense. That they would still have that. Of course you did. <laughs> Photos. Pain in traveling over the world. Working at a company like Parallax Insurance. You'll be more than well off. Well, don't forget what Hayden looks like anytime soon. This plan is doing much better than the one at home. ROM parts. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that uh -huh. at home. Because he was building you, you silly kid. What reason would you have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. Ah. Item. Oh, I did just get those headphones. The hum of standby screen has no melody. Interesting. This rig probably costs more credits than you make in six months. He's normally not messy like this. Busted. He must have dropped it in the skirmish. I don't know what I could be missing. There are no buttons on the screen and there's no need to watch TV right now. It looks like there's a place here for a physical yeah, memory card. Yeah, I know, card. but I don't have them. Without the memory card, this I don't know where we would get a memory card. You'd have n yeah, yeah. Pause off. Based on your track record, it's for the best. It's, uh, it's bad manners to listen to other people's plants. <laughs> what? Bad manners to listen to other people's plants. Comparing your ID picture to the nice photograph, not so good for your self-esteem. Seriously, you can't get rid of your ID. <laughs> you swipe your ID card across the monitor. Bloop. The screensaver is just a picture of Hayden's travels from around the world. Turn probably wouldn't like it if you... Okay, but... Trip Dallas... Long time ago, it was too expensive, but he looks happy there. Where in the world is he? Neat hat. The sentiment is understood. Forget Hayden. Ah! Two opposing photos, but Hayden's chipper grin beats your awkward grimace. A ROM only needs a few parts to get a voice, like Turing has. Maybe this one's better at it after all. It's a long way down. Better be careful on the balcony. What? Sliding never fails. Plus, they're perfectly polished. Interesting. Okay, blah blah blah. Yep, yeah, more credits than you have no idea how to log in. Bloop means nope. <laughs> it looks like there's a place physical for memory physical card. Mem but Without the memory card, how do we? Or maybe just not plugged in right, out of battery. A ROM component of Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Let's 
you're not actually thinking about switching okay. one of those games on right now. No, I need a battery. Ah, oh, come on. I need a battery. You sync the TV and listen to the boring news in high def. It doesn't seem to be around either. Or maybe Turing. The remote doesn't seem to be around either. Or maybe Turing? How do we access... Oh, saves options. Huh. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I'm using the touch pad on my controller. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's cool. If you took that down. Pretty petty theft would be bad influence on Turing. Don't you know if ROM technology know it's important here? Come on. Shut off. Plant Whisperer, you are not. May have to ask Hayden for gardening advice. Or maybe Turing knows a thing or two. How do I talk to Turing? Something to do about his travels. Ugh. Working company Parallax ensures... The views are certainly better than yours. Don't leave fingerprints. It's a long way down. Quit trying. It never is going to happen. Never ever. Seriously? You can't get rid of your ID. I don't know. Messy like this. Interesting. Trip to Dallas. Me hat. Interesting. I don't know what to do, guys. Bother trying, you'll find fry it worse than Turing fried lappy. It looks like there's a place here for a physical memory card. Like, I don't have one though. Without the memory card, interesting. Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. It was right there. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. Yeah, but then they would have been after you. And that's not good. The tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Ring any digital bells? Not really. Okay, well then what good I are you? We'll have to go ask. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro. Okay. District. I'll mark it on your city map. Thank you. Stardust added to city map. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat <sighs> character. All right, let's do it. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Uh, my city map? Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. Okay. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist Oh, really? You. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Okay. I just need to ask you a few questions. Like what? This is an exciting thing, I promise. Ay vey. Don't you know literally everything about me already? You knew my first dog's birthday. <sighs> <laughs> this is just how things are done. Uh-huh. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating uh -huh. system. But that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. Oy vey. So, here we go. Okay, let's do it. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. Okay. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new Okay. Life. What do you got for me? If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. Okay. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use oh, in account that's creation, cool. online communications, and conversational speech? Okay. I could do that. Enter name. Cut the crap, Turing. We need to go. Enter name. I'm Lil Mac. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Nice. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Done. Do you wish to keep this name? Uh, yes. That's why I gave it to you. Thank you. I have input your name. I'm in! Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational oh, that's speech? that's cool. They, them, their, theirs, she, her, her, hers, he, him, his, his. More options. Wow! That's really detailed. Well, I will go by he, him, his, his. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Thank you, Turing. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Is that relevant to the story? Whoa! Interesting! What is this all for? Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll eat anything, man. I'm a garbage disposal. Alright, I'll eat you, Turing. You can get the right barbecue I have a sauce. Location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Okay. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy, or restart setup to enter it again. I don't think I need to do that. In review. Does that sound? Wow, right? you said that so clearly. I I. You said it so clearly that I couldn't even hear you. It was phenomenal. Thank you. You're welcome. See, that was relatively painless. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SR. Nice! Okay. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. It's fair. All right, let's go. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another oh, better. Oh boy! It will be an efficient use of our time yeah, together. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed. Thank you for escorting me here. You're welcome. Let's head back to your home. Okay, fine. Oy vey.
This game does not autosave, so please be sure to save frequently. Ooh, that's good to know. Which we are coming close to. Uh, needing to save. Chapter one! That was all prologue, everyone. Wow! Ugh. Whew! Okay, night time. It's almost Christmas, guys. You know, your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. Are you talking about my plant? What'd you call my plant? Have you been overwatering it? I guess. My what? <laughs> Sometimes things just rattle out of you and I have no idea what you- Don't plants need lots of water? It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Wow. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. <laughs> Ooh. Plants named Wilty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. Mildew, time to give the landlord another call. Things to worry about. We have more important things to worry about. Okay. Still, I'll keep an eye on it. Thank you. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tom. Great! Phenomenal. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Thank you. Ooh. A map. Oh, I see where we are. Gotcha. Okay. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully, we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. Hopefully. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, we gotta get past the bouncer. Welcome to Stardust. I'm surprised they're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice, authentic touch. Yeah, sure. Alright, looks good to me. Nice. In we go, baby. Welcome to Star. Yeah, I love that movie. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? No, actually. I have never been here. Nah, not my kind of zone. This is my first time, but I don't think it'll be my last. Who could stand this music? Nah, not my kind of zone. It does seem to be a bit boisterous for your taste. Wow. At least from what I know of them. Wow. You talking about my succulent? Still, the noise and the Rude. crowd should help keep our investigation clandestine. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Probably ask the bartender. Let's check at the bar. Yeah, check with the bar. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tom. Okay. Bartender. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? I need Tom Cat. I was already time to ask me a few questions. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. Uh oh. <laughs> What'll it be? You need me to buy something? Cora Peel. Scotch, drop, and roll. Canopy, more? Cur Royal. Doogies in cream. Onyx rum. Green tea. Groppy nog. Drinking game. Hassy spike. Natasha allergy. Densvenska. Bjor Bjorn Stummen. Power play, Antarctic Harvest TMF, Rusted Lace. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so funny. Netherworld. Uh, Sour Apple Teeny. Whiskey Rita. Ingredients and ratios. Fluffy Dream. Wow, this is a. Uh, 
This is a uh, quite the list. Wow, quite the list. Modest Connie. Wow. Gut punch. I bet one of these. I bet some of these will will determine uh, different uh, interactions. Core appeal. Scotch drop and roll. Let's do uh uh ba 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 Let's do the sour apple teeny So many drinks Yeah, I know. Remind me. What's in there? Drinkinary, the open alcoholopedia says <laughs> Wow. Does that sound good? Sure. I don't know why you didn't know that. Ah, all right. You got it. Coming right okay. up. Okay. Fabulous. Now, what is it you need to know? I need Tomcat. I'm meeting a Tomcat. Do you know where they are? Sure, Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Yeah, of course they do. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Okay. Thanks for the drink. Enjoy that's, yourself. And don't be a stranger. I bet that's Tomcat. I bet that's Tomcat. But we'll have to wait to see if that is Tomcat or if Tomcat really is on the dance floor in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is fascinating. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, this will be a fun, fascinating game to play through and uh, figure out the mystery of what happened to Hayden. So uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!